Okay, so we're about to do my color. So I do a rinse the same day I get my relaxers to cover my grays, which had started coming in when I was around 18. So um, I definitely um, recommend a rinse because it covers the gray really, really nicely. So um, maybe we can go through the process um, of what's the general process of the rinse so people know uh, what to expect. Well, we are doing a rinse, like you mentioned, which is great for great coverage. Mm -hmm. um, it's a semi-permanent process. And as far as what to look on, very similar to the relaxer. Application, application, application. Mm -hmm. um, again, we see loose, uh, mostly making sure that all the, the gray is cover. <laughs> She's smiling at that because a lot of stylists skip here and there mm -hmm. um, grace on the hair. So you want to make sure that the hair is, in this case, completely saturated. Mm -hmm. So you opposed to the relaxer here, we're looking for saturated saturation yeah. on the product. Okay. Um, and so what, why do people or why should or why can people use a rinse instead of a permanent color like what's the what are the benefits of of it of using a rinse yeah. i think that depends on the customer preference and how often you also come um to the salon mm -hmm. i don't think I, I i wouldn't say that it's better to use a rinse mm -hmm. over permanent color i won't go there i will say that it depends on what are you looking for okay, well, the in your case, Luz is mentioning that when you have relaxer, a rings, like in your case, it's more gentle okay. for the hair, for the gray coverage than going to permanent color. Okay. Now, does the rinse have anything in it that makes the hair stronger or like what, what are kind of the basic components of it that, that I feel like it, it does, has made my hair a little bit stronger and shinier. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Do you want to answer that for her, Liz? Yeah, it has some company. You have to look at it for some product that uh, they provide some um, nutrients mm -hmm. like aloe vera. Mm -hmm. You know, the market has so many, but mm -hmm. uh, get something that don't not only provide a chemical service. Get something that provides some uh, uh, nutrient for you have to be shiny, you have to mm -hmm. be stronger, you have to be you know. Mm -hmm. I like here on Mimara we use multiple brands again because all heads are not created equal so we go from brands that um, from Iri it's called Iridia which is a Spaniard brand mm -hmm. Iridia from Salerm Cosmetics we do Matrix this um, is a color sink color sink so we, we go so we have a, we have a lot of different brands because we try to satisfy the particular need of each client uh, one of the things that she mentioned is that you should look out in your rings because you notice that your hair is shinier and healthier and uh, um, after you started this process is that the color not only provide the great coverage, mm -hmm. we're looking for something with other components mm -hmm. that are um, nourishing, mm -hmm. I will say it, and very good nutrients. She mentioned aloe vera, so you need something that is soothing. Soothing, right. Soothing yeah. after right. the chemical. Not just the chemical. chemical. Not just yeah, the chemical. Yeah, yeah. So you have a lot of companies out there that only provide, mm -hmm. um, the you know, the strong chemical because they want excellent great coverage. So mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you are a salon owner, Mm -hmm. um, I will highly recommend to look for mm -hmm. brands that give you that portion of the service, which is nourish, mm -hmm. to enrich the hair, mm -hmm. to make the hair stronger and healthier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how often should people get rinses? I mean, is it something that there's a set time or does it depend on the person? Or I would say that everybody is different mm -hmm. because if you don't have gray, you're good. <laughs> but when your hair is full of gray, mm -hmm. you need something sooner. <laughs> you, you need something sooner. So you can go from, I see a lot of the customers getting it done and starting at four weeks. Yeah. Nothing before yeah. four weeks, okay. but you can go from four weeks to, to some six, people, but to six, six to yeah. um, eight weeks. I think that will be stretching it yeah. a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has grows different, you know. Some people are slow grow, some people are faster grow. Yeah. If you faster grow, you know. You, you know, might need so. to get a rings every mm -hmm. four weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but every eight weeks, if you are having a gray problem, a gray issue that you you know you need that gray coverage, mm -hmm. eight weeks is a lot to go. Yeah. If right. you like, if you don't have a lot of grays, then probably you sh you can 
stretch it that far. Okay. And then, you know, people can practice, people that get relaxed, they can practice to get the color at the same time. Why is that? Because when you have a, uh, the relaxer, you know, your cuticles are open. Right. And then that provides high penetration for your gray. Okay. That, that is the best time for people that have relaxer. Yeah, because I do feel like some people say that maybe a rinse doesn't cover the gray completely, but I don't know if that has something to do with the product or the application it or... Can be. Both. Both. It could be both. Definitely mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. But in, in all these years of experience, we hear that issue a lot. Yeah. A lot of people are afraid of getting both services at yeah. the same time. Right. Um, they're afraid of the... Um, the hair being over processed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, that's one of the concerns. Right. But as she was explaining, this is actually the best time to get your rinse is when you get in your relaxer. Why? Mm -hmm. She just mentioned it. The cuticles, the, your cuticles are open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it helps the color to get better penetration. So once it's applied, what's the next step um, in the process for the rinse? We do have a set of time for that, opposed mm -hmm. to relaxer. So if you're following the video, we do have a set of time for that. Yeah. That's a standard time. How long are we going to leave Jennifer? Again, that varies per customer. As everybody. So but we're going to focus on Jen's case yes, right now. She can run only 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, but some people can go 30 Under. minutes. Some people can go 30 minutes. It depends how coarse are the How gray. coarse and how stubborn your yes. grays are. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. see a lot of women, as Everybody's they get older, the, the, the gray get very, very stubborn. Yeah. And they need uh, usually, you know, more time. More time. Okay. And now that you leave it on, uh, and then I send it to a dryer, right? That's right? I would send you only for like... 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. something like that. 10 minutes on the dryer to get better penetration, and then the mm -hmm. rest of your time you do it out of the dryer yeah. to don't keep the cuticles that open for that length of time. Okay? Don't keep them that, that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, so for the people who want to uh, maybe do a rinse at home, is that recommended? Um, or, or The dryer portion? No, just in general, if they want to do a rinse at home to... If you want to do a rinse at home, um, I will say the same thing. Look for a brand mm -hmm. that gives you nutrients. Okay. Look for a brand that provides a soothing portion to the chemical process. Um, Timing-wise, you need to um, follow the instructions. Unless, again, you see that your, your grays are very you know, very yeah. stubborn. And then you can add, uh, I would say, 5 to 10 more minutes. Don't go over Okay. that even if you're at home so now um just to because i can't see but i think uh, so you applied it to the roots and then do you work it down the length of the hair or just yeah just... i would because you already have previous uh, color and service yeah i don't want to saturate your hair you know okay i will cover your gray first and then at the end i will blend the whole thing okay so that's a very important thing guys to look for when you are doing the rings at home um do not apply from the root some people to do. the bottom, I to the know. end, mm -hmm. um, like she just said, some people do it, not recommended because you don't want to over process the hair. Best we are time. attacking and paying particular attention to the new growth first. Mm -hmm. And then something very important, you know, we are women. And then probably Jennifer come tomorrow and she say, oh, Luz, I want different color. <laughs> if I previously saturate her hair with a lot of darkness, they will be so it's hard gonna be for her to switch for another color. Okay. In that way, she will be pleased with her hair covers, her, you know, her, um, her shiny bag, you know, her look, and know the, the oversaturation. Great. Okay. If you're planning to change your hair color, do not saturate the roots. <laughs> Concentrate on the new growth. Gotcha. Great. All right. I'll see, see you soon.